Hey guys, Ole Rebels back here with another Guys and Tutorials video. Today's video is going to be about the uh, Mac keyboard shortcuts, which of course, uh, I've, I hope you guys find pretty useful. These are actually the keyboard shortcuts that I use the most, and I, yes, I will make another separate video if there are more keyboard shortcuts that are pretty crucial uh, for me to teach you, but I have not included in this video. Anyways guys, let's get started right off. If you guys are working on Chrome and a pretty fast uh, speed, you can press command, option, and left or right arrow key to switch from tab to tab, which is actually really useful uh, to switch tabs with, uh, without touching your mouse pad. When you're working with a program, let's say, with an application, you can force quit it by pressing, well, word or and quit word or just pressing command Q, which will ask you if you're going to save changes, but of course it doesn't ask you that on Chrome. If you press command H, it will actually hide it and you will not be able to see it in your dock. But if you press that application again, it will actually uh, come up again. However, if you press command M, it will actually you can actually see it in the dock. And of course, you can pull it back up, pull it back down. If you have word or something, you can, you know, pull it, pull it down or something like like this. And it's, you know, it's pretty convenient. Anyways, guys, uh, moving on. <laughs> if we press uh, what's it called? F. Uh, the function and F12, which is like the sound, the bigger sound key, you will actually go to the dashboard, which is something I actually don't use. You see, it says it's it has all the random information that I don't need. But yep, if you continuously press that button, these two buttons, you will actually move from the main uh, to the dashboard, which is pretty interesting. If, however, if you press function F11, which is decreasing your sound, you will actually see your uh, your your main screen which is actually pretty sweet too because you can just do whatever you want and if you want to see some some of your files names well then you can press function f11 which will allow you to look at anything that you have here anyways moving on if you press command option escape you will be able to look at all the all the programs running and the applications running on your computer if you press force quit you will be force quitting your applications without uh without any without any warnings given. <clears throat> now, if you press command tab, which is what I'm gonna do after I uh, press all these, if you press command tab, uh, you will actually see all those different applications running in your computer as well. So, if we see here, we can see that uh, command tab, we will see all these programs running. And apparently we have six, you know, we have six programs running. And of course, we're just going to quit all of this. So that's one way you can see what programs are running in your computer, which I think is a pretty neat feature. Anyways, guys, another thing is that you can press control, option, command, and the power button, or in some cases, the eject button, to shut down your computer effectively. Uh, if you don't want to shut it down, and if you even want to log off, well, uh, there's another solution for this too. You can press option, command, shift, Q, which will automatically log out of your account without any warnings. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, if you guys can refer to this page right here, uh, supportapple.com, and of course this, or you can just go to Google and search uh, Mac keyboard shortcuts, then you'll come to this, this is the first website, and you'll come to this thing. It will tell you all the Mac keyboard shortcuts, and there's actually a ton more, but I'm more, uh, I'm more, you know, interested in the, this, sleep, logout, and shut down shortcuts, and well, here you go. There's everything that you guys can use. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, uh, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and of course, leave your comments in the comment section below, and Olera Bye.